Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we look at how you can use the COUNTIF function to compare two different lists. Now this is the third video in our series on five alternative reasons to use COUNTIF. So check out some of our other videos if you're interested in what else it can do. For now though we want to compare these two lists. And they're just side by side here, but these could quite easily be on different sheets or different workbooks entirely. And I want to know which of these names in column C do not appear in column A. So in column D here, we're going to use a count if function to count the occurrences of that name. And if it returns zero, we know therefore that they do not feature in the other list and we can filter those results out or some other technique to remove them. So let's put in our COUNTIF function in cell D2. So it first prompts us for the range of cells to test and that will be the first list, which we should then fix. We should make that absolute so that when I copy this formula to the other names in this list, that range will not move as I copy the formula. Now when I put in a comma, so it prompts me for a criteria, I will select the first name in my list. So at the moment I'm basically saying search for how many occurrences Celine Dion makes in column A. And we can see that she appears there once, but as you move through the list, this LL Cool J is the first one there that does not feature, so we'll return zero. Let's run that function and copy it down. And there we have it. We have the two names that do not, well, that feature in this list, but not in that list. And that is one technique for comparing two lists using the COUNTIF function. I hope you find this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel or at computergaga.com. 